We are a company that makes other businesses aware of your business so that they will be motivated to take some kind of action when it comes related to your business. To do that, we provide a wide variety of promotional products, business forms, commercial printing, uh, customized apparel, and logo and graphic design. Um, but we don't just put your name on stuff. We're more than that. Um, anybody can do that. Your name is your brand, and your brand is important to you, and so it becomes important to us. When we print your brand on something, we want to make sure that it looks not just good, but great. And that's what we're all about. We started in the industry about 17 years ago. We were making some changes in our lives, and we attended a convention with business opportunities, so we bought into a business opportunity. And what we ended up with was a small pad printer, a bunch of ink, and a lot of other stuff so that we could put your name on stuff. And it was okay for a little while, but we found it was kind of limiting. Uh, for one thing, uh, uh, well, to give you a little bit of background, what a pad printer is, a pad printer uses a silicone pad. And what it does is you flood a, a template or a stencil with ink, and you bring this pad down on it, and you transfer it to whatever you're printing it to. It's actually a pretty neat process. When we saw the guy who was presenting it, he was printing on walnuts. And we thought, well, <laughs> oh, it might be kind of cool to be able to print on just about anything. And I actually used it one time in a trade show we took part in in Ocean City, and I printed on seashells. Now, people must have thought it was kind of impressive, and they seemed to be impressed, and they took my samples, but nobody called me to place any kind of an order. So maybe they thought it was just kind of limiting as well. Uh, what we ended up doing is we had an opportunity to attend a very large trade show in Atlantic City for distributors of promotional products. And we really had no idea of what we were doing. Um, so we went to the show, we got in there, and our jaws just dropped. We could not believe what was out there. there it seemed like there must have been a thousand suppliers. We took two days to go through the show. We thought, oh, well, we'll do it in an afternoon. Uh, no. Uh, we were glad we, we took our camper with us so we could stay outside of town because my wife went one way, I went another way. We're just picking up all kinds of bags of samples, and that night at the camper, we'd have show and tell with each other. Did you get one of these? I saw one of these. Oh, I got to go get one. Where'd you get that? that was, oh, that's cool. And it was really kind of, I, I proved my naivete at that point. Because I'm just walking around going to the show going, oh, you put your name on that? You know, well, yes, that's what the business is all about. But I did not realize what was out there. As distributors, this is, it sounds like a wild exaggeration, but it is true. We have access to over 500,000 products from over 5,000 suppliers. Now, the cool part about that for somebody like you as my customer is that you have access to that as well. A lot of people, especially small businesses and entrepreneurs, they don't know they've got this opportunity. When you mention promotional products to a lot of small businesses, they think pens, key tags, mugs, hats, and that's about it. But there's so much more than that. Like just sitting over here on the side, I've got a wine opener and a glass cleaner, an eyeglass cleaner. Did you know you could get that for your own business? It's there, and this is what we want to do for people. In fact, if you look at our website, which I forgot to put up here, my apologies. Over here on this side, down here where this picture of the lovely young lady is, there's a search engine, and you can click on that and put in any kind of name or, or type of product you might be interested in, and you'll see thousands of items. It's like looking through thousands of catalogs. Now, it can be kind of neat and kind of fun when it works um, because there's just so much there. Well, uh, maybe if I try that one. There's all the categories that we have. You can see there's probably, what, more than 20 of them right there. So just look at, at one. Well, it's going to keep taking me all kinds of places. 
those numbers are the numbers of items that are in there. Just this one item, there's 268 different products, from the koozies to the to tins to all of the things that are there. This can seem impressive, but it can also seem kind of daunting. And as a small business owner, you really don't have time to be looking through all of that. And that's where we come in. That's our job. We work with our customers to be able to, to match them up with a good product at a good value that will make their name look good. That's what it's all about. But you can work on it yourself because there's, there's so many things that, that sometimes I may not have an idea of what you're looking for. You might be looking for something that goes completely away from what I, what I might be looking for. And it's neat when you take the different kinds of items and you break them down into like different kinds of categories. There are some that are very practical and very useful. In fact, most of them are probably like that. But there are some that are just plain fun and wild and crazy. Like if you're looking for something for a trade show, you probably want to do something that's a little more fun, a little more playful, because what happens is it gets attention around the rest of the trade show floor. And all of a sudden, you've got people coming to your booth to get one of these fun items. Or if it's something you're maybe taking on a sales call where you're trying to introduce your business to another company, you may want to make something that's more practical, more useful. Because what you want to have is that it's something that they'll use over and over again. Because each time they use it, they see your name on the advertiser and go, oh, yeah, I remember them. And that's what you want when they're ready to call on your kind of business. And if it's something that you're uh, maybe issuing a thank you for that million-dollar order, well, then you want to go into the nice gift category. And all of these are available to you as well. Like we have available to you cheese and, and uh, cheese sets with a board and a knife and a cutter, and you put your name on the cutting board or on the knife. All of these are available to you. Now, also, what we'll do is, is when you're looking at the items or if you just want us to take a look at it, you may say, Art, I've got this kind of budget. I want to maybe offer this kind of a message. Can you help me? And we'll do the searching for you. We'll offer you a bunch of suggestions. Because a lot of times, that's what we're doing. That's what we're about. And again, this is that the part of my business. It's not part of yours. You don't have the time for that. So I'll take the time for it, and then I'll offer you a bunch of suggestions. Now, even if you do have your own suggestion, we might recommend another color or maybe another type of product. Because, again, we come down to wanting to make it look good for you. Um, I also mentioned that we do wearables, like the shirt that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Now, this is something that I never could have done with a pad printer. I also couldn't have done all of the forms that we offer. And we offer all kinds of forms, whether it's a, a repair order or an invoice or an estimate or a sales form or business cards. We do all kinds of forms. And commercial printing, we do rack cards, brochures, sales sheets, all in full color, all, again, to make your business look good. And what we do is when we're presenting these items to you or when you decide what we want to do, we make sure that it's clear, that it's correct. We've caught errors from some people and that it looks absolutely sharp and that it's on the right product. Brenda mentioned that I have been here before with uh, the, the main office. And the main office offered all kinds of business services, uh, including small business consulting, virtual assistant, bookkeeping, along with the promotional products and share, shared desk space. Well, that part didn't work, so we've had to make some changes. We closed that office, we've moved back to our home office, and what we've done is my wife now has the main office with the Small Business Administration, and since promotional products offer so many possibilities, I can go out and reach out to a business of any size. We also like to make sure that we're trying to start a new trend, and we're actually providing service that comes actually from our name, Alert Motivations. When you come to us for any kind of service, we want to make sure that for you, we are alert. We are a listening, enthusiastic, reliable team player. We want to be part of your team, and we want to help you to be able to make your business grow. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give Art a round of applause. Wow. I have gifts. He has gifts. That's the part I really like. <laughs> Thank you. Questions? We're located in Dagsboro. Mm -hmm. And I kind of serve like between Milford and Selbyville. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
most often, uh, my wife is the one who does it, and she doesn't charge. And the reason, the reason being is that we, and we did this under the main office, we believe in small business, we believe in entrepreneurs, we want to support entrepreneurs any way we can. So she provides that service for them. Uh, she's helped design logos. She's done that for a number of companies. I've actually done something for them before. If the design is already done, they run about seven days, five to seven business days. We just, we, after, desi after the design is done, when we send it to the printer, their turnaround is about five to seven days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other questions? I have a question. Mm -hmm. When I think of small business economic development, I think of three things, sustainability, retention, profitability and job creation and alert motivation uh, Mike just asked how much would it cost and you said no cost where is the profitability it's type uh, I guess it's a type of a goodwill okay. gesture that we would do that because we would hope that if we did if we design a logo for you you're going to come back to us to mm -hmm. have it printed and mm -hmm. you become a repeat customer. Mm -hmm. Our, the, the best part of our business is from repeat customers, as it is for a lot of businesses, but definitely in the promotional products in the printing field. Okay, so you do have a fee schedule for the different types of things that you do. Everything is not free. Well, the products are not free, yeah. of course. But some of the labor. Some of the provide. labor is, Okay, yeah. that, that's good and, business. And oftentimes, our suppliers will charge a fee, and they mm -hmm. do like an hourly fee, like $45 an hour. It varies with the supplier. But it's something that we don't want to create an extra burden on a small business person. If we can help them out, and hopefully they'll help them out again by coming back to us. We have unfortunately had people that have taken a design that we made, and they took it to a competitor. Right. And that was a bit of a slap, and, mm -hmm. and not very nice. Mm -hmm. But our hope is that they would come to us, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Any other questions, Barb? I got gotcha. you. Um, you have a lot of satisfied customers, I'm sure. And how do you utilize that for referrals? To have them refer other people to you? Or do you have a plan? We have a plan we haven't implemented yet with an actual referral program, with an incentive for the person offering the referral and maybe also for the person who's accepting the referral, taking okay. advantage of it. We haven't implemented it yet. Mm -hmm. It is part of a program that we could actually do for other customers in incentive programs. But uh, we, we have used testimonials. We don't have them posted on the website at this point, okay. but we have asked customers to do that. Well. A lot of the people that I've worked with have mentioned all they have to do sometimes is ask. You don't always have to put the carrot out there, and many times you can ask, how did, did you appreciate the service we gave? What did you like about it? And do you know anyone that you'd like to refer to us? Please keep us in mind, because people don't, don't get that. 
mm -hmm. and they don't get how important that could be to the growth of your business. And once your business grows even more, your prices can be better and so on and so forth. Just well, a thought. <laughs> it, it, and it's a very good thought. Uh, we need to be more deliberate about it. We have been blessed with a couple of people that are referring us. So that's a good thing on our side. But yes, you're right. We, we should be more deliberate about it. Okay. <laughs> Author. <laughs> I you sound you? like my stepfather. Okay. Well, hey, buddy, I, I would say to you that categorically, I find free to be offensive. Now, here's why. I don't think it works. I don't think it works in the, in the competitive economic world, and here's why again. If, um, if you tell me that you'll give me a service for free that I know has a certain value to it, I can't help but wonder how good is that service going to be? How can you afford to do that? Unless there's an attachment to it that says, if you use this service, if you buy this, we will give you this service as an attachment. Then it has value attached. But when you say to me, that I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll develop your uh, rag card. I mean, that's no small thing. And I'll do it for free. And I hope you'll let me print it. I, I, I don't know, Art. I'm just saying to you, I think, you, I think you're letting some, some bucks slip by. And you might be not enhancing your credibility by having the free, because who knows how good you are if you give your service away. And I don't mean to be offensive, but you, you and I know each other. No, I understand. And, we and, can talk directly. So. And I, I appreciate your input there, but on the, perhaps on the other side, perhaps on the other side, though, is that Wings and Wheels is not going to know if we can do it if they don't see it firsthand. So in that way, we need to do it as a sample almost. Something that we have done to kind of protect ourselves a little bit because the contingent part is that you will buy it from us. So if we provide a proof of a projected rack card, we may actually put like a watermark on it so you really can't use it. So you will be forced to come to, and not forced, I mean, we're not coercing people but you would be more encouraged to come to us. And again, I, I understand sometimes free is not good, but I'm going to give you a free gift. <laughs> and, and, and and you're a very wise man, and I appreciate your input as I did several years ago when I met you. But there is, again, there, there is the sample side. It's almost like a, a candy, a, a person who's selling candy needs to maybe give you that free sample before you will actually turn around and buy it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, and perhaps part of it right now is we're not at the, the point where we're producing 10 a day. So in that way, we're maybe doing it to encourage you know, a greater return. So it, it's like an investment that we need to make to get people to come in. I'm wondering, okay, you say this is free. Are you telling your customer that it's free, or is this just something that you're, you're just not building that into your cost? Do they know that this is free? I have told them that. I don't, if, if we're talking about like a wide promotion, like I don't have it on the website that way but I have told mostly small business people when I've looked at some business cards. And I wouldn't tell them. <laughs> I, I understand what he's saying, and um, I'm, I'm getting ready to start a business myself. Okay. And the courses that I've taken, I mean, I know nothing. I'm okay. not in business, but it, it's like you're selling yourself short, like you don't have enough confidence in what you're doing to, it's like, 
okay, I, I want to start a home staging business. I just want to go in and do some places for free. But, you know, when you're saying you're going to do something for free, they think, well, just like he was saying, well, why is he going to do it for free? Does it suck? I mean, what? You know? I mean, it's so... If you want to do it that way, I wouldn't let them know that I was doing it for free. We or I would find some other way, like he was saying, you know, have another, have something attached to it so that it, it, it looks like you're downgrading yourself. You know, that's not, to me, that's not how you want to differentiate yourself from somebody else. So I'm, I'm cheap. Cheap is not good. Let me pick on that word, if I may. You're a new business. You're starting up. Mm -hmm. We are in the, in the image business. We think that everything is important in how you look. That's why we want to make sure it looks perfect. One of the first things we want to have you, or we want to encourage you to have, to build your business and how it looks, is a business card. We have great prices on business cards. I, I was going to ask you if you did business cards. Thirty-nine ninety-five, full color, four thousand. But you don't have a logo. Right. Oh, well, we can, do another lo we can do a logo for you, but that's going to cost you another $40 to produce. Now, you're on a tight budget. You just used the word cheap. Now, are you going to take those business cards from $39.95 to $79.95? For a good logo? Yeah. On your tight budget? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, I'll talk to you later. Yes. We'll charge you $50. <laughs> And to, I agree, and, and something we have seriously considered as we've done it, we haven't run too much into the dilemma yet, and maybe it's because those for whom we've done it have appreciated what we're doing. We've kind of started to think, like, if we're getting to the point of five, six, seven edits, we can't do this for free anymore. You are, at that point, we start to feel like you're taking advantage of us. We're trying to offer an again, it's, it's an attempt to offer an additional service. We don't, we maybe don't have to be counselors, but you could go to someplace online and buy all the promotional products that you want. They don't care. They're just going to take whatever you give them. The idea is that we're trying to give you that additional service. We're basically selling a commodity. And of course, the question someplace like here at One Million Cups is, what makes you unique? What makes us unique is these add-on services that we're putting in there, like helping you with this logo design. Somebody online is not going to give you that, and they're not going to give it to. They're certainly not going to give it to you for free. That's where we're trying to build into what we're offering you. Hi, Art. Right, welcome. We're glad you could be here today. I'm very glad to be here. Thank you. I'd be happy to sit over a cup of coffee and share with you some thoughts on the marketing because I did own and operate a marketing firm for quite a few years. But what I would like to convey today is it seems that from the discussion here, it's really about not necessarily free or not free, but building the value of what it is that you're offering. And there's a couple different ways of approaching that. A lot of times when you get a professional service and they offer something free, for example, they might design a patio for you and show you on paper what it would look like. Um, and if you go somewhere else, you'll get a bill. And you understand that from the beginning, that, that the value of what I'm, service I'm providing is $250, uh, which is inclusive of your project if you go with me. But if not, then we'll send you a bill for $250. And having something like that up front, that adds value to what it is that you're offering. Would it maybe be better? I'll ask a question now. Would it maybe be better if I gave like a free hour of time? So if it takes two hours, 
the first hour was free, getting into the second hour is not. I think that would be helpful. And when you give them that, that bill on their project, you put on there the value of your time on that bill and then indicate discounted for whatever. So that way, again, you've, you've given, given that value for the service that you're offering. Okay. Um, right. Mm -hmm. And we've had that happen to us. And yeah. they'll also come to expect it for free all the time. Um, one other thing along that line is that when you um, are doing that, oh, I'm sorry, it disappeared. <laughs> okay, back. be back, Bill. I, I, I'm probably the one guy that's going to disagree with everyone. I think what you're doing is right on. You're establishing a relationship with future customers. and. It's possible that you're going to, one or two is going to take advantage of you, but the bottom line is I think what you're doing is right on. Thank you. Uh, Absolutely. One more question. Oh, back there. Back there. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, we're, we're sort of belaboring this, Art, but uh, I think it's a conversation amongst us all just honing our own thinking on. What about this word free? And what about hooking the customer? And will they be loyal? That's really the question. But uh, if you um, could establish a value either by the hour or by the quarter hour or by the product of what the value is for, desi for designing that, and I'm sure that in the commonly available in the marketplace for designing a logo, whatever, mm -hmm. and you had that as a value, and then you said, however, this value is included, included with the purchase of, and then you have the, the writing instruments, maybe you have, what do you have, cards, letterhead, envelope, whatever the writing, yeah, uh, purchase orders, whatever you do. And then when they make that purchase, this becomes free. However, what they're getting for, by having that free is already established as, let's say, a $200 value. Mm -hmm. Then you've made a sale, You've given away, as far as your wife's concerned, she's got her talent into it personally, mm -hmm. and at the same time, they think they're getting, which they are, a real deal because they're getting this $200 value for purchasing, say, a uh, uh, $150 package. This came with it free, and you've established a liaison with that, with that customer. There may be some other ways to approach it where you may be come out a little stronger. I think, I think maybe what you're saying kind of goes with what, what Keena said, and, and maybe what we need to do is, is like bill it, but then maybe give a rebate or something like that. So, yeah. so Keena, I think, mentioned a discount, but maybe if we just kind of you know, give it. I think the essence of it was just to state the value of what it was. <laughs> now, I don't think we're disagreeing that you can't offer it for free, but they need to understand the value of it. Mm -hmm. The item that I forgot I wanted to pass on to you, uh, which I now recall since I went on the hot seat, was that when we did logo designs, part of the challenge was getting their thoughts out of their head on paper, mm -hmm. and sometimes that could be like a 12-hour process. It can get really involved. I just wanted to make you aware of that if you haven't done a lot yet. And, and I get, I don't want to diminish the work that my wife does, but ours is, is perhaps a little simpler. So, I mean, we're not, well, I don't know, anybody can maybe do a swoosh, but... Um, <laughs> Yes. Which is our reason for doing it. The margin. On that product, 
again, is uh, you know, at, perhaps not on the one sale, and it, it can depend on how long it took. Uh, if it was just, I'm, I'm gonna back myself into a corner here. To produce a lot for wings and wheels, a rack card, we're not gonna have enough margin on a rack card. If you even buy 10,000 of them, our margin is, is, is perhaps not gonna uh, cover the time. But again, as this gentleman said, our hope is to build that relationship. So at next year's Wings and Wheels, you won't consider going to anyone else. You'll come back to us because we did the job for you last time. Or if you did something else for Wings and Wheels, or now with all of the members that are on the Wings and Wheels Committee, who are probably individual business owners, they'll say, hey, Alert Motivations did such a great job on, uh, they did this for us, almost like a donation in a way, that you'll come to us with your personal business as well. <laughs>